In this segment, I'll demonstrate the Value Expansions feature, which again is found on the Define Input screen. Taking a small risk at being possibly a little bit confusing, I want to just jump ahead a little bit and uh, put this into context and look at if we were to generate test cases without doing a value expansion on taxable. I want to just take a quick look at what the result would be. What would a test case actually look like in that instance? And what we see here is that the first test case, the ship to state, would literally say taxable. It wouldn't be a specific state name. And that might be fine if the person doing the testing knows which states are taxable and realizes that they really need to cycle through all of them to make certain that the calculations are correct for each different state. That possibly might be the case, but in many instances it's not the case, and so we want to instruct the tester more specifically which states to use in a taxable situation. Again, we must be on the Define Input screen in order to use this capability. In the left navigation area, we'll see Value Expansions, and if that window is not open, we can click the arrow down to open the window, and then click on Create New Value Expansion. This gives us the option to identify the parameter value we're interested in expanding, in this case, taxable. We then can enter the values that will replace the term taxable in the individual test cases. And those will, in this case, include Kansas, Kentucky, New York, North Dakota, and Washington. Notice also that we can elect to use these evenly, meaning that in each successive test case, the first case will include Kansas, the second case will be Kentucky, and so on. Or we could introduce a bias. If we wanted the ones nearer the front of the list to be used more frequently than those further down the list. In either case, in this case we'll use evenly. We then click Create, and that will indicate in this window now that we have five values that will replace the term taxable, and those are listed as indicated. We would do the same kind of thing with non-taxable, where we would simply define any state or maybe several states uh, that are in the non-taxable category. Uh, that would be an equivalence class. We don't really care what the specific state names uh, are in that instance. To conclude, let's go back and look at what happens in the create tests uh, situation when we've generated test cases after we defined these value expansions. As you can see here, this now means that the ship to state is no longer says taxable in the first test case. It says Kansas. And in the first non-taxable case, it happens that I defined non-taxable to include Pennsylvania and so forth. And so we see the consequences to the generated test cases can be quite significant. It's really the difference between using a catch-all category name and using very specific names, as in this instance, to replace the general case. Hexawise is a software test design tool. To sign up for free licenses, see http colon slash slash hexawise.com and for more instructional videos see hexawise.tv